Hello, my name is Ferdinand McGill and I'm the GEA's Director of Player Club and Games Administration and I'm also the Secretary of the GEA's COVID-19 Advisory Group. The aims of this briefing are to explain recent updates that have been made to the GEA Safe Return Roadmap, to address uh, the common questions that have been posed to us and to highlight the latest sources of information that we have. So the main changes made this week were the club pitches for adult training uh, are now open from Wednesday the 24th of June and club pitches for minor grade and below can open from Saturday the 27th of June. Training this week uh, on the 24th and 27th will have to be on a non-contact basis. All those taking part must complete the e-learning module. All control measures as outlined in the safe return document should still be followed, for example, uh, filling the health questionnaire. Uh, there will be a maximum of 15 players allowed in a designated area of the field in the 26 counties and a maximum of 10 players allowed in the designated area of the field in the six counties. And of course, coaching numbers, as we mentioned previously, for underage teams should comply with the code of behaviour. From next week, contact training and challenge games will be allowed from Monday the 29th of June in the 26 counties and we are currently awaiting guidance from the Northern Ireland Executive in relation to the six counties. But for the moment, non-contact training, as per the numbers outlined, uh, can take place in the north. So some general updates since we last addressed you. Dressing rooms will remain closed until further notice. Uh, the three associations are waiting a clarification from the governments on what will constitute a close contact versus a casual contact. We're very aware that, that people are concerned about what will happen if someone does test positive for a COVID within a team setting. However, as I say, we're waiting for clarification from the government on that. So the restriction on participants only attending training sessions will also be relaxed from next Monday, from June 29th, but it will be subject to a maximum of 200 people being in the club grounds. And again, all control measures such as the health questionnaire and making sure you have completed the e-learning module, they'll all remain in place until advised otherwise. So it's important to note that club games in counties, uh, competitive club games that is, are permitted to commence from Friday the 17th of July. Challenge games can take place between June 29th and the 17th of July, but competitive club games within your counties uh, will not be scheduled before Friday the 17th of July. Intercounty games, just a reminder that the intercounty season will not resume until the 17th of October and training for intercounty teams will resume as planned and as we told you earlier on the 14th of September. So in terms of club facilities, the advisor group will issue guidance before the 29th of June on the use of club facilities. Uh, what we mean in that context is various ancillary facilities, whether it's uh, bars serving food or uh, AstroTuff AstroTurf facilities, etc. We will provide you with advice on those um, ahead of next Monday. So some common questions that we've been dealing with. A question that obviously comes up quite a lot is what is the latest on the health questionnaire? And the health questionnaire is now available at the link uh, on the screen there. Or a hard copy version of the questionnaire is also available and that's basically an appendix one of the Safe Return to Gaelic Games guidelines document and all of these resources of course are available um, on GA.ie. So the health questionnaire still must be completed before returning to club activity and each participant must declare that their health status hasn't changed on each subsequent occasion when they uh, intend to participate. So parents and guardians can submit forms on behalf of their dependents. And COVID supervisors can check that members of their team to submit forms uh, on, the, on the electronic system, uh, but they can't view specific information. And a reminder that personal information will only be stored on the system for a maximum of three weeks. So how can issues with the online health questionnaire be addressed? And we know there have been plenty of, of these, as is to be expected. And issues can be raised via the following email address, gmssupport at gaa.ie. It's GMS support at GEA.ie. Um, and of course, the hard copy version, as I mentioned, is as per Appendix 1 of the GEA's Safe Return document. So, what is the latest in the e learning module? Uh, well, the e learning module is now available uh, at the link currently on your screen. The main aim of it, of course, is to educate and support club members and volunteers. 
It must be completed by anyone entering club facilities for, for training and games, um, in backroom teams, players, etc. And clubs should seek proof of completion before the initial return to training and games. And as we've mentioned on a number of occasions, parents and guardians can complete it on behalf of underage players. So we're, we're into the hundreds of thousands in terms of the amount of people who've completed the e-learning module. Uh, so hopefully there's not too many left to do so, uh, but you should uh, move on and get that done uh, before you return to play. What is the latest on the protocol for a team if a player or a coach gets COVID-19? As I mentioned earlier, we are still awaiting advice for government on this and uh, as I mentioned in the previous uh, webinar, uh, it's not just the GA who are awaiting advice uh, for this, it, it's all sports. Uh, we hope to have something in place uh, from the government before the weekend, however if we don't we will ad uh, provide additional advice ourselves um, to address that question in the interim. And what is the latest on contact tracing? Again, we're awaiting clarification on that. Uh, and particularly on what will constitute a close contact versus a casual contact in the context of sport and in the context of our own games. What is the latest on the GE Injury Benefit Fund cover and liability insurance cover? So just to be clear, uh, from Wednesday the 24th of June, cover is back in place uh, for adult team training. And from Saturday the 27th of June, the player injury benefit cover is back in place for minor teams and uh, grades below that. So no GA injury benefit fund claims will be considered for the lockdown period, which began on the 13th of March. Uh, and property and liability insurance premiums must be paid to county committees before club facilities reopen. The latest advice for attending to injuries. Uh, Non-medics um, should wear face masks and gloves where physical distancing is not possible. And they should be disposed of after each individual use. So clubs who don't have a, a medic in place or, or where a selector or the manager is going out to tend the player, uh, as I say, they should wear face masks and gloves and these should be disposed of after each individual use. In terms of trained medics, uh, physios and doctors, etc., uh, face masks and disposable PPE should be worn at all times. And further information on this is available at learning.gea.ie in the FAQ section. So what is the latest on spectators? Well, in the 26 counties and in accordance with the, the government's updated roadmap from last week, from 29th of June, spectators can attend training sessions. And that's subject to a maximum of 200 people being in a club ground at any given time. And from the 20th of July, uh, we will be permitted to have 500 people uh, in a club ground at any given time. And that's subject, of course, to sufficient space for physical distancing. Now, having said all of that, we're still waiting further more nuanced and detailed information from the government in relation to spectators and again once we have that we will pass that on to you all but for the moment that's the guidelines that are in place uh, from the 29th of june 200 people from the 20th of july uh, 500 people so on your screen uh, right now is a list of all the resources available um, to help uh, clubs uh, prepare for the return to training and playing games and indeed to minimise risk and to try and keep all of our members safe. Um, the resources include all the latest COVID-19 information on Gaelic games, uh, the online learning module um, and, and frequently asked questions and, and those links there are, can all be easily followed at learning.gaa.ie learning.gaa.ie and you'll be able to follow the various COVID-19 links. So Goromaha Agav Galer, we hope you all manage a healthy and safe return to Gaelic Games uh, without incident and we hope you're all able to follow uh, the guidance that we have laid down in, a, in an easy and straightforward manner. Goromaha Agav.